One of the common themes that I've heard in almost every presentation has been the importance of shifting the focus of the uh, revenue generating model in the online interactive business away from total dependence on a commodity, cost per thousand, optimized uh, business model to one that looks at the total marketplace, the total marketing communications pie that includes promotion, direct marketing, uh, event marketing, public relations, cause related marketing. Uh, and, and this is uh, this non-marketing non-advertising marketing budget represents uh, almost four out of every five marketing dollars spent as opposed to advertising that represents about uh, uh, two to two and a, one to one and a half times uh, of, of every dollar spent. Uh, so that's a common theme. Uh, I didn't necessarily agree. I love Dave Moore's presentation. I love that he uh, said what he said. I liked how he said it. Uh, I don't agree that there's a real strong future for micropayments. Uh, I think there's a real challenging model for subscription online. Uh, I thought Jack Gri uh, Griffin's uh, presentation and Martin Reedy's presentation, Meredith Publishing, uh, was extremely strong. The model that Meredith is following is a model for the total media industry. If you have strong content, you need to monetize that content by looking for relationships with the marketers that go beyond just the sale of ad pages or the sale of display ads or the sale of TV or video ads. You need to look at the total marketing communications pie and how, can, how you can build assets and tools that connect your audience to the marketer's audience uh, interactively. And that's what Meredith is doing. Uh, Eric Hippo's presentation uh, on uh, the Huffington Post was fascinating and I think that's a perfect model of how media brands are recognizing the importance of the relationship with their audience and tying marketers into that process through social marketing, social networks and interactivity and uh, ongoing relationships. What uh, the Huffington Post did in connection with the TED conference and tying Cisco in sponsoring the TED Twitter uh, that, that was really a brilliant uh, connection of a, of a moment, uh, momentary opportunity of passionate interest around the world in the TED conference and content coming out of the TED conference in a way for Cisco to tap into uh, the communications coming out of TED. Uh, it's a way to tie in audiences together that are passionate audiences at the event, audiences online, uh, with a marketer, through a communications link created by the Huffington Post that, uh, that designates and, and uh, communicates the message of thought leadership. Uh, so that was an example. Uh, what Meredith is doing with Kraft is another example of, again, tying uh, people's passions for food uh, and people's passions for uh, better homes and gardens and the various assets that, that Meredith is able to put out there content-wise together in a resonating model. I can't say there's anything I totally disagree with. I think there's a hope and a passion that uh, content-based uh, br branded content will be able to generate uh, direct revenues through the consumer and that that will supplement the declining revenue streams from advertising. Uh, I don't think that'll happen. I think marketer, uh, media companies look, need to look to more in-depth, passion-based, emotional, emotionally connected relationships uh, with audiences that marketers can then tie into.